hi guys um, today i learn we are uh, we are learning for how to export uh, your web page in pdf file just like many side are there inside the online uh, directly just your web page into convert into pdf file suppose you require to tutorial side and you just require to for the refer purpose uh, you are just save in pdf format inside your local computer then it's possible with ASP.NET some using external library like iTextShop library are there when required to convert your web page inside PDF then you can use iTextShop DLL assembly so today I'll learn how to convert your web page inside to uh, how to convert your web page in PDF format so I'll create some simple demo so how to convert your web page into pdf format file new website asp.net empty website like visual c shop so just give a name export web page in pdf right okay uh, just do one thing just right click on the your projects and click on a reference and just go to the desktop and inside desktop we have iTextShop library are there iTextShop Suppose you are required to create this application in your local PC and in your projects, then do one thing: you just go to the Google's and search out the iTextSelf iTextSelf library uh, is already available inside there. So you just search and download with Google's. Right click, add new item. You just add new page with form default space. And inside the default ASPX page, I just write some code ASPX like I will just use grid view ID grid view one run it server right and uh, just one button ASP button ID btn one Run it server text convert in PDF right now just save and inside this you just change your auto format of the grid view like brown sugar okay now just go to the Vibrate configurations file and just add your configuration path before add your connection path you just go to the SQL server just check out your table I have already created one table employee it's already data there 8 row are there so now I connected with this like connection strings add name like SWE my connection string is and suppose you are required to connection string just go to the server explorer just right click on the uh, database add connections and just add the server name and how can I get my server name just go to the SQL server and just right click on the uh, page of the SQL server yeah, window of the SQL server and just go to the properties and just copy the server name after that just right click and paste the select your database and my database name is sw97 and just taste connection okay the success now click ok now right click on your database and just go to the properties and just copy the connection strings and just paste on okay use provider name and my provider name is system dot data dot skill client I'll just say okay my name was SW just copy and just go okay just right click on the 
page and just go to the view code and just use some library for the connectivity purpose like using system dot data now the using system dot data dot sql client okay now if not is post back <coughs> SQL connections on is equal to new SQL connection inside the system dot contribution dot I will catch the path of the my connection strings dot connection strings the path name is as the green dot connection string okay SQL command TMD is SQL command just create the object of the SQL command cmd dot connection in my connection was gone cmd dot command text in my command text select strict from employee just select all column of the employee tables ok now just SQL data adapter new SQL data adapter just pass in the parameter cmd in the SQL command data set yes is equal to new data sets just open the gateway data adapters so fill inside the ds and just close the connections ok now uh, grid u1 dot data source ds dot data zero So you require to check out data is there or not then do one thing we just open the if conditions and just check out if ds is not equal to null and if ds dot table zero dot rows dot count is greater than zero then it's process right Okay. Okay. Now just save and just check out data is there or not. It's working properly or not. Yeah, is there? It's working properly. After that. Just double click on the convert into PDF buttons <coughs> and I have already created the code just copy to okay, create my code some simple steps uh, suppose you require to use string writer then you need to import library like uh, using system.io and guy document for the using itech shop i have already added inside the build folder for the stream worker for simple person and for pdf writer we are using itech shop okay let's check out i have already used inside this it's a library okay now store respond dot content type my applications my application type was pdf and respond dot add header my content dispositions attachment and my file name means my pdf file name is user details dot pdf okay and respond dot cache set cacheability is a http cacheability of no caching uh, nothing stored inside the caching and string writer we are using a string writer and create the object of the string writer was asw html text writer my object is asw and just pass the object of the string writer inside the html text writer constructor now this means current page dot render control inside the HTML text writer. String reader we are using for reader for the purpose of read my HTML pages. So just pass out the inside the string reader constructor SW is the object of the string writer. Now after they just create the document, my document object is PDF document and just 
page size, in document size was A3 size, so you required to apply A4, A1, A2, it's also possible. And uh, margin left, top, bottom, and right. So 10F, 10F, 100F, and 0.0F. And uh, HTML worker, we are using HTML worker because I have converted into HTML to PDF, then we need to use HTML worker. So I will use HTML worker and just create the object of the HTML parser and uh, just pass out the object PDF doc inside the HTML worker constructor. So PDF writer dot get instance and just pass the inside the parameters PDF doc means document file comma this one dot output scene. <coughs> Sorry. Now open PDF document. So PDF document dot open and HTML parser dot parse and which document will be passed just call the SR okay it means stream reader just string reader means your string writer string reader means what so inside the string reader we are passing the SW means string writer and inside the SW writer we are passing the <coughs> HTML text writer okay so now PDF dot open HTML parser dot parse SR PDF document dot close and response dot writer this PDF document and response dot okay before run this program, do one thing, you just go to the default.aspx page and uh, inside the page directory, I just call in email event validation is false. We need to validate a false and uh, just pass one another method inside the, just create one events inside the, your CS behind code, public override white verify rendering in server form in control okay because we need to convert my web page inside the pdf you need to rendering your controls with runtime okay now just run your program and just check out convert in pdf okay now just save right click save as on the desktop just save and the checkout it's working or not uh, user details yeah it's properly is there so it's a very simple demo to converting your web page into pdf file and it's not difficult actually and not a complicated uh, it's a simple step are there you just use some library iTech shop and suppose you require to use this library go to the google and just search out with iTech shop is already available just download and just add reference with your applications and just put inside your behind code and just use it okay so now it's very easy and thank you for the watching my video yeah bye